Let's join the French Foreign Legion on Mars. I mean, Molly, for Operation Barkham. Let's go. Levé! 5 a.m. on a winter morning. The wake-up call is brutal. Okay, for you, lady, it may be brutal. For everybody else in the world, that would be normal military training. These soldiers speak French with different accents and degrees of accuracy. That's because they're in the Foreign Legion, the legendary elite branch of the French army that draws its men from across the world. Two weeks before they head to the desert in Mali, the Legionnaires will hike through the hills near their base in southern France. The men serve France, a country that's foreign to them. They follow strict rules and customs, but in return, they're given a new life. The Legion says the tough discipline is necessary to create unity between all 140 nationalities. Tough discipline is necessary in all military units, and quite frankly, it's helpful in any business. So let's let the liberal reporter stick to what she knows. Maxime is a native French speaker from Belgium. His comrades call him little brother because he's the youngest in the company. He signed up to the Legion as soon as he was old enough, but needed his parents' permission. Et dès que j'ai 17 ans et demi, le 6 février, direction Paris, engagé à Paris, une semaine à Paris, puis au bagne. Et puis voilà, c'est parti. Quoi. On a de mon âge qui s'engage, mais après, il ne reste pas. Il demande à partir civil. Maxime started training as a carpenter, but he'd always dreamed of being a legionnaire. It's one thing when I talk to young guys, ask about the military. You can always dream about it, but you can't do it when you're 40. So if you're going to do it, do it while you're young. A lot of people regret not joining the military to include the Legion. He can always go back and be a carpenter, right? But when he's 25 and he's got two kids and a mortgage to pay, he's probably not going in the French Foreign Legion. What do you guys think about that? Joining while you're young, if you can, because joining at 30, you got a whole other set of responsibilities, and usually you're joining at 30 for a reason. This is all-consuming. Their passports are taken away, and they serve under a false name for the first 15 to 20 months. And until they finish their initial five-year contract, the Legion asks them not to get married, have children, or buy property. Huh. So question for you guys, my French audience. What happens if you do that? So they said they ask. Let's say you get married, knock her up, and you buy an apartment. Then what? For months, the Legionnaires have been getting ready. Weapons, communications gear, and bulletproof vests. All this will soon be sent by air to Mali. Sergeant Giacomo is from northern Italy. He's been in the Legion for 10 years and served twice in Afghanistan. Les bouts c'est partir en opération. C'est pas rester au quartier. C'est pour combattre le, le terrorisme bien sûr, pour pas que ça arrive ici en France ou en Europe. Ça les bouts. But the Italian isn't used to cameras or conversation when he's at work. No. What, is she shocked by that? The guy's not an actor. 
He's a warrior. He's a soldier. <laughs> the Legionnaires will soon join the French Army's operation in Mali. They will support Malian soldiers in their fight against armed Islamist extremist groups. The regiment will stay in the former French colony for four months. Avec le sergent, et vous remettez en place pour un nouveau déroulé. Now look at that terrain. It looks like Mars. If I could ever go there, it's got to be terrible. For you guys that have spent time in Mali or this part of the world. How do you stay hydrated? I've been in the desert, but this looks way worse. 3,000 miles away, somewhere in the Malian desert, near the border with Niger. We meet up with the Italian sergeant and his men. Four days ago, French commandos got into heavy combat right here. Extremist groups with competing agendas are trying to gain ground. Some have pledged allegiance to the Islamic State group in the Greater Sahara. I would say if they want that piece of toasted earth, <laughs> let them have it. I know that's not the answer. Question for you guys. How does the French Foreign Legion interact with the regular French army? Do you think it's good? Is it bad? I'm curious about that. Comme ça, Kouta Tous comme ça La même euh, calibre, oui Ah, bleu de 21, donc euh, sur ma position, au sol, euh, des étuis de canon 30 mm de tigre avec ces maillots, environ une quinzaine. Ça, c'est un, un maillot de la bande de mitrailleuse 14-5. C'est l'arme à moi de bord utilisée le plus souvent par les jihadistes sur leur pick-up. As they search, it's up to Corporal Brandon to keep watch with a machine gun. Raised in Nashville, Tennessee, Brandon shot his first rifle when he was 15. We haven't had contact, so I haven't had to use it. So. And why do you think that Tennessee boy ended up in the French Foreign Legion? You hear a lot of people, and I've done some videos checking the description about the Legion. They end up there because they're a problem. And I don't think that's the case. I think they want the adventure. All these young guys talk about they want to get into combat. Take that aside, whether it's a good idea or not. These guys are getting into stuff all the time. During the combat here, a French commando was shot and wounded. The French army says it captured or killed around 20 extremists. On operation, the soldiers say danger is simply part of the job. On a pas peur. On est prêt, c'est tout. Personnellement, je pense pas trop à la mort, parce que de toute façon, si on est destiné à mourir un jour, voilà, ça, ça arrive. The section never camps in the same spot for more than 24 hours. Every night, it's the same routine. Put up the camp beds, dust down the weapons, and prepare tomorrow's rucksack. La base, c'est 24 heures d'autonomie. Bon, il y a juste un menu que j'aime pas, c'est le numéro 3, c'est Navarandagno, c'est dégueulasse. Can you imagine camping in that place? I'm sure you sweat to death at night in the summer and freeze to death in the winter. You guys that have been there, tell me about it because it looks terrible. The sergeant remembers frequent, intense combat in Afghanistan. In Mali, he's not seen any action yet. superior in number and equipment. So I don't think they will confront the next force. Suivant, parce que ils sont, euh, sont trop faibles contre nous. Ouais. 
there's nothing more frustrating for a legionnaire than never coming face to face with the enemy. Since its beginnings in the mid 19th century, the French Foreign Legion has been known for giving men, like Brandon, a second chance. He wanted to join the US military like his father and brother, but was turned away. I got a, a DUI, driving uh, under the influence. So that's why they will let me in. Brandon. Hmm. I'm wondering if there's more than that. If we're turning guys away like that who are willing to fight over a DUI, America's going downhill fast. Known for playing loud country music at the barracks. And it doesn't always go down well with his comrades. It's not good country music. Yeah, what are you talking about? It's American it's not, country music. It's the, the, the rednecks of America. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? You're Croatian. You don't know country music. Brandon is 37 and single. Wow. He goes to see his brother, nieces and nephew back in the States when he's on leave. You never know what, you know, military, so you never know what's going to happen. So I don't... That's old, 37. I don't know what the age requirement is. I should know. But 37, let's say when it was 35, you just don't bounce like you used to. I would not want to be in. When I was 17, you could take a beating. At 35, you're not taking a beating. At 37, you're not taking the beating. Maybe he's a freak of nature, right? Spend time with people that are close to me as much as I can. Would you like to start a family of your own when you get out? Oh, of course. I'm looking forward to doing that as well. Uh, find the right person, have a family, have little kids of my own, so. Sergeant Giacomo and his men get ready for more searching. Roadside bombs are the deadliest threat to the French army. To avoid them, the legionnaires travel off-road. And that means long, bumpy rides packed inside armored vehicles. The temperature can reach 50 degrees Celsius. Dès que je rentre en France, la première chose que je vais faire, c'est prendre une bonne douche. Au weekend, je vais sortir, je vais manger un bon plat de sushi. You know, it's funny when you get deployed, the things you think about that you want to eat. I wanted fried chicken and sweet tea. This guy wants sushi and a Coke. What'd you guys want when you couldn't have it, right? Whatever your body's yearning for, you never know till you, you can't have it anymore. Avec un coca fresh. Et fruits. Je vais regarder quelques films. Le premier weekend, je sort. Bien sûr, je vais sortir quelque part. Mon trip est de you know, if everybody could remember that moment when you're sitting there in Mali, you want to go see the ocean, you want a sushi and a Coke, but what happens when you get back three weeks later, you forget. So that's what I want you guys to do. The takeaway is appreciate the moments, right? Because if you pretend you're in Mali, when you do get that sushi and a Coke, it'll be outstanding. It's the first time French soldiers have searched this area. They stop and speak to everyone they meet to get local information. Now they looked awfully jammed up there. If they're worried about IEDs, they're awfully close. Now I don't know exactly what they're doing here, but maybe they already swept this road. But they are awfully close together for patrolling. Some of the people are very helpful That's with the better. civilians because they want to get rid of the the, the, the terrorists. And so, or they could be working for them and getting paid to say, hey, we went this way and they went the other way. So hopefully it's true that he's telling us the real information. So, My young Tennessee lad, I want to tell you something. The local people are going to cooperate with whoever pays them the most or whoever doesn't threaten them the most that's what's going to happen here there is no allegiance to getting rid of these terrorists amongst the local people let's be frank you know a lot of these civilians are good people you know they don't have a lot and then there's always those those bad people that want to uh use the civilians to hide and they fight like cowards they use the civilians to hide and everything like that and threaten the civilians but Uh, 
French aircraft wouldn't see much beneath the trees here. Let me be the ugly American here. Why don't you drop napalm on that big batch of bushes and take care of it or burn it down? I'm sure that's not socially acceptable, but it seems like a pretty easy thing to do here. What do you guys think should be done instead of going through that mess? I'm sure there's animal, livestock, I get it, but I'm not sure I want to travel through it. In what looks like a hideout, this sergeant finds the remains of a campfire and something else. Uh, uh, Just à la, à la fin de l'Oued, là, ils voient tout ce qui passe. Et eux, ils sont cachés, et nous, on passe, on les voit pas. C'est bien caché, là. They send photographs of the Arabic writings to a translator, who tells them their verses from the Quran and GPS coordinates. <laughs> Isn't that convenient? Verses from the Quran and then GPS coordinates. I can never understand the thought process there. I'm not going to try to, but... Let's keep going. Once again, there are clues, but their enemy is nowhere to be seen. Nearby, Giacomo and his men have stopped a pickup truck. Now we're proceeding to the fouille of the vehicle and the fouille at the distance of personnel. Voilà, si c'est bon, c'est clair, il n'y a rien de, de suspect. Après, ils repartiront. There are no weapons, only fuel cans and bags of rice. If you pay off the locals enough, they will cooperate, right? There's a way to win these type of things, but the French, and the U.S. included, don't have the stomach what would it entail? Don't put that in the comments, but think about what it is said there. Many have put on hold their personal lives and relationships for the sake of the Legion. Far from home, they're told the Legion is their family. This operation will be the last for Sergeant Giacomo. He's decided to go back to his village in Italy. <laughs> Je pense qu'il faut au moins trois, quatre ans avant de retourner moitié civil. <rire> Qu'est-ce qu'on peut faire quand on a vécu ça après. Comme boulot bon, On peut faire tout. Les jeunes, ils peuvent faire tout après. It's going to be a tough transition after 10 years of getting deployed all the time, having a certain level of responsibility. His training doesn't translate well into a civilian career unless he does some kind of PMC work. This is not easy for these guys, whether it be the French Foreign Legion or a U.S. Marine. Not an easy transition. Contact with the people the same way after. No, we can't pump them if something goes wrong. That's true. The Italian never told us why he signed up to the Legion. But it's turned him into a leader who's respected by his men. Qu'est-ce que vous avez trouvé à la Légion Euh bon, beaucoup de choses, des de camarades pour euh, tout le reste de ma vie. J'ai voyagé dans dans des pays que où je jamais été. See join the French Foreign Legion, see the world. See beautiful Mali on a summer vacation. <laughs> je pour moi c'est pas un boulot, c'est C'est une passion, on peut dire comme ça. C'est quelque chose que vous avez dedans. Voilà, c'est pas... C'est pas quelque chose que vous... Voilà, vous apprenez... 100% à la Légion, voilà. You hear that quite often amongst 
all troops. It's not a job. It's a passion. What does that mean to those of you who haven't been in? Well, you don't make much money. You spend a lot of time doing it, and you give up your body for it. So it has to be a passion. Now, is it a passion in this guy's case, the Italians for France? No. He wanted to see what he was made of. He grew close to his buddies. That was the passion. That's the same passion in the United States as it is in the French Foreign Legion. Corporal Brandon and Sergeant Giacomo will stay in the Sahara for another two months. The Legion allows men to leave their old lives behind and start again. But they have to commit 100%. The Legion is like a religion, and these Legionnaires have all made sacrifices. Another Captain Obvious here. The Legion's like a religion. They've all made sacrifices. Military across the board, anyone that's successful, in particular infantry type of units, is like a religion. has to be. You can't be a negative Nelly and a whiner. And you got to make sacrifices. So the French do it. The U.S. do it. U.K. does it. We all do it who've got a military that actually functions well and accomplishes a mission. From the camp back to the studio, Claire Packerland. All right, these idiots are done. New to the channel, thanks for stopping by. For my current subscribers, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching.